everybody, Dave Dave 253 here with a follow up to a follow up review. Um, easiest way, I did a couple reviews of the, a couple follow up reviews on this Bogue Revolution V2. I picked the wrong one, put it online. I was cleaning up my hard drive, cleared off all of the videos that I already had published. Fortunately, put the wrong one up, don't have the right video that I put in or wanted to put in. So, I have to redo it. The one that was up there was kind of uh, my negative video, I guess you can say. Super negative. Um, I was just, uh, I was in a pissy mood, and that's what happened. So, here we go. Right there. Bogue Revolution V2 again. Um, right off the bat. I had problems with the battery. Um, I'd fucking charge it up, and before I could even get, you know, two full puffs off of it, the thing would die on me completely like it hadn't been charged. Pulled apart. Uh, actually, I didn't pull it apart. The thing fell apart in my hand um, while I was trying to package it back up in case the vendor decided to send me an email back or a phone call on replacing the device. As of yet, there has been no return messages from the vendor. So, you know, that's that. Anyways, um, fell apart in my hand. Like, hey, I'm gonna check this out. Let me look at the battery. Let me see if I can find, you know, any solder points that are maybe broken, wires touching, something to be shorting this out. Couldn't find anything. Um, I kind of suspect the, the ionizer thing that's in the top might be shorting out somewhere, but I'm not sure. Um, could be shorting the battery somewhere. But, uh, Pull the head all apart, you know, nothing there. Uh, you know, it does have the 500 mAh battery, to my surprise, when it's supposed to have that 850. Um, all the vendor sites say 850. You go to Bogue Tech, it talks about a 650 battery. Um, where the confusion is, you know, in between, you know, the communication between the vendors and the company that's selling it. Who knows? But um, that's what I found is a 500 mAh battery. Other people have done the same, 500 all the way across the board. Supposedly, they're releasing a uh, version 2.1. The version 2.1, excuse me, is uh, supposed to have a 1400 mAh battery. They've done away with the ionizer at the top. So right there might tell me that uh, that's a problem. Who knows? Um, it's useless to me. I don't use it. Turn the lights off and I blow some smoke into it and I think I'm in a club or something, you know, by myself. Good times. But, um, my second thing was the Eddy I was using on it. I was using a low res. I um, believe it was Icon Vape 306 Eddies, my favorite Eddies. Um, I was like, hey, maybe it's just drawing too much. So, yesterday, I decided to put on a higher ohmage. It's still a low resistance, supposedly, but it ohmed out to about 2.2 ohms. Um, you know, so give or take, you know, a 2 ohmer. Um, seems to hold the battery power. Came in here this morning, turned it on. I get the lights. Look at that. Um, usually, I'd take it off the thing, and I'd hit the button, and it'd light, and then that's it. The lights would go out, battery's dead plug it back in, do a recharge again, same thing would happen. Um, put this one on, and it seems to hold the charge a little bit, so I'm going to test it here for you guys, just so you can see that it is working, but uh, I'm not going to use the bottom feed portion, it's actually uh, has some different juice, I was too lazy to clean it out, and uh, the stuff I have in here is a fruity mix, this is a uh, my waffle, my morning blend. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll see how well this works on here. And uh, yeah, here we go.
doesn't really work in the light. But that's what I do with that thing. Um, as you can see, it does put out a pretty decent amount of vapor with this Addy. Um, it still works, which is surprising, because I've probably been using it now for half an hour, and battery's still good. Um, still got the three lights on there. Actually, more or less, maybe two lights. But, uh, you know, it's still working. That's good. Um, you know, overall, I do like how, or the design of the box. You know, it's not a, you know, it's not one of these deals. You know, your big foghorn switch, you know, on off button, something that you can make yourself. Um, it's actually, you know, pretty sleek looking. Um, it's fairly lightweight. I do like the fact that you can put the extra cargo in the bottom. Um, the door on the box side is a little loose, but that can be fixed by just kind of bending the little tab over and uh, it'll make a better connection there to hold it in. Um, the juice feed system kind of, you know, it's a little shaky. Um, there's some fixes on YouTube, basically just attaching a tube to the inside where the needle connects into the bottle. That way, you know, you can just squeeze it like this rather than tilting it upside down or at an angle or anything like that. Um, the ionizer sucks. Like I said, I use this as a little, you know, colorful disco ball. Um, other than that, um, you know, also has a little strap. Can't forget the little the fucking phone strap. I don't use it. Uh, it was just getting in my way. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I like the look of it. I like the lightweight lightweightness of it. Um, I like the on-off switch on the side. The, I like how the, the feeder, you know, it's, you know, you put your finger there and you can squeeze it. I have a big finger, so, uh, you know, pudgy fingers. But, you know, that works good like that. Um, it's, a, it's, it's decent for the money. Um, it's not too expensive, so um, that's why I'm not up in arm right now with this vendor trying to, you know, get this whole issue resolved. But, hey, if it works like this, it works. Maybe I'll just throw my a, a battery in there, you know, find a, a battery pack that kind of matches it and see if I can uh, put a bigger battery in. But other than that, that's it. That's my follow-up. You know, take it or leave it. It's decent. It's not bad for the money. And if the version 2.1 is any better, it actually works, you know, fucking rock. Um, like always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, Davey Dave 253 we'll catch you.